Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another podcast of Knickknack Knits, episode number 32. I am coming to you from Berlin, Wisconsin. Um, it's a balmy 40 degrees today, but at least we don't have any snow on the ground. Um, a little bit about myself. I am Nikki. Um, normally, there's another half, Heather. She is taking a break right now, so... I wanted to bring you another episode before it got to be too long in between. Um, I want to thank all new and returning viewers. I'm glad you found something you like. I hope you stick around. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, give it a thumbs up. It helps us get out there. helps more people find us. This is a podcast of knitting, crocheting, some sewing, anything crafty really. We'll jump right into admin. Um, we have quite a few cals. Well, I should first jump into where you can find me. You can find me over on Instagram as Nick Knack Knits. You can find me on Facebook as Nick Knack Knits. You can find me on Ravelry as Nikki52879. And then the podcast group over on Ravelry, um, Nick Knack Knits. Also, we have one on Fiberkind. And we run um, both of the knit alongs in both Fiberkind and Ravelry, where you can enter. You just have to be a member of our group in order to be um, entered for the drawings once you enter your work, I should say. So, right now we have the, I gotta look, we have Scrappy, which I draw prizes quarterly. So, we're in the last quarter of the year. So that's anything that you use scraps of yarn, crochet, and knit, it doesn't matter. Um, then we have get her done, anything that's a languishing whip of six months or older. If you go over and get that finished, post up a picture. And we draw for that one once a month. So you have a few more days for October, but then... The first podcast of November, I will be pulling a winner for that one. And then we have Socket To Me, which I ran all year and I do bi monthlies. So we are in September, October's drawing for the Socket To Me. And I have been keeping track of everybody who entered um, two pairs each month. So that's here. So we're down to having three people who are going to be in the grand prize drawing. Besides the other drawings um, for that. And then we have our dishcloth along with uh, Comforting Crafts, Brittany B-Wing over there. She is hosting um, her church group. They're trying. She's trying to get dishcloths to go over to, I want to say it's El Salvador. I don't remember offhand, sorry. But there's about five or six of us that are co-hosting with her. And all you have to do is make dishcloths and send them out to them and they will take them. Um, that's running now through December 31st. Um, and then we also have our Stephen West featured designer um, knit along, which we pull quarterly and then one grand prize in the end. So we're on a fourth quarter. He also has the MCAL going right now, guys. So perfect opportunity. Um, any of his patterns for mine work. Uh, Arkansas Yarn Co. has the botanical shawl that's going on until October 31st in her group. And she also has a Stephen West slip stitch. Any of his slip stitch shawls. So like the painted bricks here, the Fanta stitch, the slip stitch on Vaganza that we're doing right now on the MCAL, botanical, um, his mosaic muslin, I think it's called. Uh, painted brick chevron, his the chevron shawl, the painted brick chevron shawl. He's got a lot of slip stitch, so um, you can double dip over there. So, and then also, if you're doing the MCAL um, around the table yarns group, um, friends with around the table, as their po uh, not podcast group, they don't have a podcast. <laughs> That's their Ravelry group, and they're doing the MCAL um, for Stephen West also. So that's a triple dip for that one. 
and they have a lot of neat knit alongs coming along right now also so check them out um other vegetables um arkansas yarn co and around the table yards both are doing a gift knit along so if you are planning to gift knit and give them away um they both right now you could enter in their things so that's a lot of places to get entered and drawings are always fun it keeps me motivated in my gift knitting to have that drive to do the knitting um when i see other people's get more ideas so just thought i'd mention those the only other thing i want to mention in admin is that in a few weeks here i'm hoping to have a special guest join me for a podcast and hopefully we can talk her into doing a quarterly with us because she's quite funny and a very dear friend of mine so let's move into fo's um i have quite a few but they're all small so for mackenzie this would be the mackenzie parade right now of finished gift items for her a pair of crocheted booties the crocodile stitch ones and so if you remember i made her the barley hat and i also made her the flax sweater so these are the booties to match that outfit and then i had made her the flax light short sleeve and then i made her a matching pair of socks and the recipe oh the recipe for this one, and it's not a recipe, this, the sock pattern for this, I used Knitting Expat's Baby Socks recipe, and I did the nine month on this one. And then the crocodile booties, that's what these are, the crocodile booties. And then I did another pair of crocodile booties and leftovers from the mini Montrealer I made. And I just changed the pocket line, um, trim here to the purple. And then that's the only thing I changed on it. And this is the 18 month size. And I used, let's see if you can see the hood there. I thought the hood was so cute. Um, I used All Sheep G's Soft Fun Denim. Um, 502, 503, and 501. I, and it's pink, purple, and then the black that they consider this. So I love the stone wash look. I'm so happy. Oh, and I did change. I did twisted rib because I think it's so much prettier. Um, but I have like four more of these to make in different sizes. So you're going to see this pattern many times. It's, um, designs by Dells. So I have, I think, four or five more mini ones to make, and then I'm making me, my son, and my husband ones next year. So that's all those. And then I finished my Rainbow Connection Mitts from Crazy Sock Lady, and this is out of Arkansas Yarn Co.'s um, Super Sparkle, which is the cast iron here, and then um, the plush base, the white, um, which is wedding cake. So I love the way these turned out. These are also a gift. But that's how those fit. And I just, I want to make a couple more of these for Christmas gifts and then a pair for myself. And then I want to make some socks. Um, so there's that and then the last finished items of course are the dishcloths and this time I've only got eight so all using up all the scraps that we have so there's all of those um, so for my gift knitting I set us I set my own personal goal this year to 60 I know that's a lot but, um, yeah, it's keeping me sane during this time. And that's what matters most. Oh, one, two, three, four. I forgot to show one. It was over there. But there that is. To be this more like for a child, but. Oh, 
I'll talk first about the one that I can't show you, the actual knit. Um, it's a secret test knit. And so I'm not gonna show the actual knitting, but there's the two colors of yarn. It's Worsted Weight Wool by Ella Ray. And the colorway is white. White and color 154, which is Persian green. And I actually got this from a brand new yarn shop here in Wisconsin, in Fond du Lac, if you're in the area, Nitty, nitty Gritty. Um, very nice shop, very nice owners. Um, so go check them out if you haven't. They do have an online store as well. So shop local, help them guys out. They really, all makers can really use the help right now, guys, with this, everything going on. My other whip, um, I will go here first, <laughs> is my Hohi Locatelli um, three color cashmere shawl and I'm using Arkansas Yarn Co. and Maple Leaf and then I'm using Mitchell's Creations um, over, what is this, over the horizon, under the moon, and you're mine which your mind hasn't been added to this yet. Sorry, my strings are all tangled. I know. So there's the start where I was when I showed it last time. And I'm almost through the striping section. And with the light behind me, it's not, it's blowing it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this stitch marker for progress. I cannot believe how fast this three color cashmere shawl knit up. Um, I did these, this here in a day and a half. Um, and while I was waiting for another clue for the Stephen West, cause I have to, I want to get this done for the knit along for the fall knit along for Hohi. And I still have one other one for her to do which is an amazing day and that's all caked up and ready to go. I'll cast that on when this one goes off. Oh. Two more whips, guys. <laughs> With Stephen West on the needles for the MCAL, I haven't really cast it on a whole bunch. And this is, um, we're calling it the Ethan Blanket for our one friend, Vani. Um, she started doing this for her grandson, Ethan. And it's the Happy Scrappy Blankie um, is the pattern. It's a free pattern over on Ravelry. And she was started it and all of us liked it so much we joined in her, with her. And last time I showed it, I was down there at that marker. And then I got a few more colors. I'm using 20 gram. I'm using magic cake ball and my magic cake ball are 20 gram minis right now that I wound. So right now mine is kind of bright, <laughs> but I'm loving it. So hopefully I'll get some more work on that soon. I'm going to go ahead and move that stitch marker up again before I forget. Um, yeah, I'm loving scrappy projects like this that require no thinking because I just get to knit. Um, the only difference on mine, I forgot to say, is on my first stitch to get this nice even, I'm doing a slip stitch and then I didn't want the holes in the pattern so I do knit front and back. So those are the only changes I made to the blanket. Excuse me while I try to put this back away. And last thing that I have for you for whips, moving in one of my bags here, is the Stephen West. So I am through clue three. I am going to say spoiler, spoiler, spoiler right now. So if you have somehow made it this far without seeing spoilers, I'm impressed. Um, but yes. 
So here it comes, guys. So this was clue one. This here, from the holes down to here. This was the bonus clue. Then clue two was all kind of there, the diamond there. And then lastly, the clue three were the checks and then these triangles down here. So I'm anxiously awaiting clue number four, the final one on Friday. And I will try to hold this back where you guys can see it all. Um, so yeah, I am really enjoying this. I'm enjoying the make along with um, everybody from around the table and on Zoom with them on Friday nights. It's really made the knit along fun to be with a knitting group on a certain day, working all in the same project, encouraging each other and seeing how everybody's working up. This is the most fun I've had in an AMCAL so far. So I hope that that'll be a traditional thing for us to do the Stephen West or somebody's AMCAL every year together. My I'll go into future knits first. So for future knits, they, I have um, the painted bricks hat that I'd like to make two for gifts. So I plan on casting those on on November 1st um, with um, more people from around the table that that was the next knit along they wanted to do was the hat. So we're gonna do that. And then Casapinka's new glamping blanket. Sorry, I have the hiccups so bad. The glamping blanket that comes out um, October 31st or 30th, I think it comes out. We're going to start it in um, around the tables, knit alongs on Zoom on the 6th. I think that's a Wednesday or Thursday. So I have that that will be starting with them. So I plan on starting that between the next two weeks. So yeah, that's all of my future knits. That's what I've been working on. Um, I did pour a little, a few more things off the needles this week that I decided I was never going to finish, um, my catch and release I pulled off and I think that's it that I backed out. For my cello, I think I already had off the needles. My tank top from Hohi Locatelli, the stapled linen top, um, In my bits and bobs, I think I told you guys that I was pulling out because I made it like four times the amount of stitches that the pattern called for because I thought I needed it bigger. And it's taking way too long for the row to... And it's going to be bigger than my king size bed. So now that I've got like five inches on it, I'm like, mm, I'm never going to finish this. So I'm going to take the yarn back for that and use it for the Ethan's blanket. I think that's everything that I've pulled off, guys. They are four pouches. They're not um, sewing bag or knitting bags. They are knitting pouches, crocheting pouches, markers, pens, anything you can use them for. Um, I also have a couple other bigger sizes that I didn't bring up with me um, that you could use for your cross stitch. Um, they fit the large circular ones. They also fit the 17 by 17 Q-snap. So I will start with this extra small. This is just, so it has a clear pocket in there. And then the nice solid back. These are great to just throw in each bag. Um, then I have the smalls. This one also makes a great knitting, but it also makes great for pens and crochet hooks. Um, colored pencils, um, yeah, then I have the medium, so in comparison, so on the medium, you can use it 
basically for anything. I have a lady who purchased one, um, and she put her, um, Young Living oils in them. So I have this one. This one's got sparkle. That you can't see. This one's another sparkle with pink in that size. And then I have two of pinks. And then oh, one more. Sorry. <laughs> Purple. Then we have the so those are the mediums that I just showed you. And then this is the large. And then these, like my son right now has, um, he's has art classes, so he has all his markers, colored pencils, all in one. So there's a couple of those going in. This one I really like with the yarn balls. And these here would also fit. I have, I think it was uh, eight by, I think maybe a six circle. So if you're doing a smaller cross stitch, they will fit in them. So these will be going to the shop this week. So I have five of the large going in. I have five of the mediums going in. Nope. Oh. I lied. I have six mediums going in. I have, I think, three of the small. I just didn't bring them all up. And quite a few of the extra smalls. And then the extra large and double extra large also. They will be going up in the shop. Keep a lookout for those. I will post on Instagram when they are live for anybody who is interested. Um, so yeah. I hope everybody has a great two weeks. Happy knitting.